guys. We're here in Olympic Gym today. We're working on back and buys. If you're not a high volume type of person, you might want to turn this off. You got about 35, 40 sets today. Sit back, buckle up, you might learn something. Games. When you're building your back, you gotta understand your lats are your biggest muscle in your body aside from your glutes. So your back workout should be focusing on a lot of angles, a lot of volume, and using a lot of different hand grips. You want your back workout to be one of your longest workouts because like I just said, it's one of your biggest muscles. So first thing first, we jumped it off with the lat pull downs. We got three sets conventional. I did three sets of 12 the conventional way. I changed the grip, changed the bar, and I knocked out three more sets of eight. Again, change the angle, changing your grip, changing the rep range. That's a big thing when you work on your back. Games. Next thing, we jumped off with some dumbbell pullovers. I pyramided up. I got in another three sets of those. This is a good thing to stretch those lats out. You want to make sure you drive your shoulders into the bench, control it on the way back. The thing you're working on is to stretch all the way back. Take your time with it again. If this is a move that's new to you, don't worry about doing the heaviest weight. Take your time, slow and control movements. You're working that back, baby. Gains. Then we jumped off with a superset of some dumbbell hammer curls and we switched over to the barbell curls with the inverted grip working on the forearms. Again, if you have nice biceps and little forearms, it's gonna look off. So make sure you do a lot of hammer curl work, a lot of things with the pronated grip so you can make sure you work those forearms. Big biceps and little forearms is not a good combination, man. Take your time. Again, I did three sets of each. That's a total of six sets with the biceps and the forearms. Games. I did wide grip, T-bar rows. I think I started with three plates, worked all the way to four. I kept the reps between eight to 12 reps. Again, I want to stretch it all the way down and put it all the way back. We're working on the stretch and the squeeze of the lats. Again, your lats are a big muscle. They need a lot of work. Don't cheat your back workouts. Then, we switched it over and did some reps. I did a close grip, T-bar row. I knocked out three sets of 12 to 15. Again, a lot of value, a lot of reps. A lot of different angles, a lot of different hand movements. That's another six sets for the back of the T-bar room. So, we did the hammer strength, lat pull down. I did it with single arm so I can focus on the stretch all the way up and the squeeze all the way back. Again, lats need a lot of work. I cannot stress this enough. You have to build a big back. You're not going to get it with one workout. So each move, I made sure I got the full stretch and the full squeeze. Four stretch and the full squeeze. Single arm, hammer strength, neck pull down. Then we jumped into the hammer strength creature curl. Again, we focusing on the contraction and the extension of that bicep muscle. So you gotta take it all the way down and contract it all the way up. I did three sets with both hands and then I switched it up and I did three more sets with single arms. Another six sets for the biceps. Again, I do a lot of volume, a lot of volume. We focus on the contraction and the extension of the muscle. Gains. We jumped over here to the chest supported T-bar rows. I made sure I did two sets with supinated grip, two sets with pronated grip. Again, a lot of angles, a lot of value on the back workouts. I did uh, two sets of eight to 10 pronated, two sets of six to eight with supinated grip. I didn't, again, this is a lot of value, guys. Back takes a lot of value. I cannot stress it enough. A lot of angles, a lot of hand grip, a lot of value. Game. We finished out the workout with a pyramid set of seated dumbbell curls. I think I started with 25s and went up to the 40s or something. All I want you to know is you got to make sure you supinate that wrist if you really want that peak. You can't cheat to get the peak. Extend the arm all the way down, twist that wrist at the top. Again, a lot of reps today, a lot of value today. Hope you guys took a school pre-workout. Hope you guys took a lot of water. Games. Let's roll.